what's not, what's yeah. acceptable. <laughs> Specifically on Twitter or in general? I just, well, as it pertains to the new stuff. Okay. There was an example where, you know, Renee was saying that this, she didn't think that was spam work. Right. She did this research and tried to initiate a one-to-one, -one, you know, correspondence with somebody that, okay. you know, might like the okay. product. So. Okay, what's spam? So I think you go back to the Can Spam Act. A lot of you guys probably have to deal with that in terms of PR and demand generation. But the keyword is unsolicited, right? Now, if, for instance, Loic happens to talk about the fact that he has Alzheimer's, and I'm sorry to break it to you now. That's a good example if we say about you a lot. <laughs> if he's announcing that this is going on and Renee chooses to follow him, he is requesting a message from her by following back. Her speaking at him and yelling, hey, Loic, I heard you have Alzheimer's. You know, bad news again. Uh, but that's, that would be more spammy. But it, what she's doing is waiting for the return to follow. And so spam is anytime it's unsolicited and there's no way to get out and you're not identifying who you are. Any other thoughts on spam? I think the good news with those new tools is that you don't have to reciprocate. Yeah. And that's, that's great. You know, like, yeah, like if you don't want to follow Ford and they're good in social software, uh, you don't have to. Um, and if, if someone suddenly starts to be spammy, so being spammy I think is, can be also too prolific sometimes. Well, what if what if the social media guy at Ford searches for the word Mercedes and whenever he sees the word Mercedes he sends a guy a tweet that says, you know, we have a high-end Taurus that would compete with the C-series Mercedes. Is that spam? It, no, for me not. It's, if, it's, if it's done in a way that you communicate with a user who is, for example, angry and upset about a brand and another brand comes, but like in a smart way, so it's not a bot. It's not like 10 messages, it's one saying, oh, but oh, you have an iPhone, you could try the power, or vice versa. Okay, so